I started just taking things a lot more seriously. And I think that's partly what made me want to go and it also helped me to prepare is to take things more seriously and things that I heard in church that I'd be like, hmm, how do I feel about that? Instead of just brushing it aside and not thinking about it, I'd be like, I need to really figure out what I believe. And I just started reading my scriptures more and praying more intently and trying to think more seriously about what it meant to be a Christ-like person and what the purpose of the gospel was and start being able to articulate those things to myself. I think that was helpful. So it was leap year day. It was February 29th, 2012, and I got it in the mail and I wanted to go open it with my family in Ogden, but there was a huge snowstorm that night and my dad called and he was like, let's just wait till Sunday. And I was like, no, I want to open it tonight. And so I drove up there anyway in the snow. Yeah, I sat in the family room with my family and I opened it and I actually, I made a, after I saw where I was called, I made up a riddle for my family so they could guess where I was going. I don't know why, I just thought that would be more fun than just saying it out loud. Um, yeah, my first thought when I saw I was going to Taipei was total shock. Like the, the weeks before I'd been having dreams about going to different places and I thought about a lot of different places I could go and languages I could speak experiences I could have and Asia as a whole just never crossed my mind once that never seemed to fit me I never thought I would go to Korea or Japan or Taiwan like those places never occurred to me once and Mandarin I had never had any interest in learning Mandarin at all I was so shocked but I remember being really excited too I was like whoa I've never really thought seriously about Taiwan as a real place <laughs> And, but I was so excited like to get that experience, to be able to get to know a totally foreign culture. And then my second thought was, oh wow, I have a really good friend who's going to that mission. And yeah, then I called her. And we were super excited. We got called to the same mission. So I definitely started researching Taiwan more, what that culture and country was like. Um, I, I went to the Asian ward at BYU attended once and didn't understand anything <laughs> in the Chinese Sunday school. I did try to learn a little bit of Mandarin before I went into the MTC, but I didn't really learn a whole lot. 